Hi, everybody. We're back. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly. We're with Wikibon.org. This is Silicon Angle's The Cube, where we go out to all the events. We extract the signal from the noise. We bring you the best guests. Why are we here? We're here because information quality is a topic that is not talked enough about, in our opinion. So The Cube was very interested in, in attending uh, this symposium. So what's the symposium all about? Rich Wang is here. He is the director of MIT Information Quality Program. He's a former chief data officer and he is the founder of this symposium. Rich, thanks very much for, first of all, thanks for having us, and welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for inviting me. It's an honor and privilege to be here and talking to the world. So, tell us about the Information Quality Program. You started it seven years ago. What was the driver, what was the impetus to start it, you know, way back before people were talking about big data? That's right? actually a very good question. We, we started uh, the Data Quality Program actually since 1988. Uh -huh. about 20 some years ago and in 1990s we uh, formalized as a total data quality management program uh, uh, and we had the first uh, international conference on information quality in 1996. Now coming to 2000 uh, we realized that uh, the international conference of information quality uh, called ICIQ has uh, a lot of uh, practitioners and, and a lot of uh, academics, and because the papers are double blind, re reviewed by the polling committee, so it ended up most of the professionals, their paper get rejected. And I received a, a email from one of the leading, very top information called practitioners say, it's me, my paper get uh, rejected. I said, sorry, it's a double blind process. So, <laughs> don't shoot me. <laughs> yeah. So it triggered me to think about maybe what I should do is to, to separate the international conference for academic audience versus the industrial symposium for the practitioners. So uh, seven years ago, I started to start the industrial symposium originally called Information Quality Industry Symposium, and the academic international conference of information quality. I started to outsource it, farm it out to Germany, to, uh, to, to France, to uh, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. They have a master program and PhD program that I helped co-found it. Coming back to the, the Information Quality Symposium, we started to do at MIT annually in July, always in July. And about uh, two years ago, we realized that information quality is essential for uh, big data, for small data, for different data. However, it's not high enough in the organizational uh, structure. Basically, it's uh, like a middle manager position, and that's not good to apply data for the purpose. So I started to add, uh, in front of IQ, I put chief data officer. Since I was a deputy chief data officer in the, in the Pentagon since uh, for two years, uh, from 2009 to 2011. So right now it's called CDO IQ Symposium, and we're going to hold hold that annually every year. So who attends? So you obviously CDOs. You had a CDO event mm. yesterday, so mm. you, you're, you're attracting a, a senior level audience, but also mm. the, the 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 managers that are practitioners are here yes. as well. So talk a little bit about who attends this event. The the people who attend this uh, symposium, in simply put, are the the trainers for other consultants. Every person that you come here to see, basically they have a consulting practice, they're a leader uh, of a company in training other people on information quality, or they, uh, they have their, uh, you know, they, um, they are gov high government officers. So already it's very, very prestigious, prestigious group that I invite. And so, so they come, uh, the speakers, the presenters, they are all invited and went through a process to decide who to invite. So for, for example, uh, we have the uh, BITS group at, uh, uh, at Washington DC, which is a very strong group. We the financial services. Financial services, yeah, financial services. Sure. And then we have Federal Reserve Board uh, represented, uh, the, the Chief Data Officer and the Deputy Chief Data Officer both are here today. That's just an example. On the, on the private sector side, we have the CIO of Sullivan Cromwell, a Wall Street Journal firm, a major law firm here, and we have a Citigroup 
we have uh, John Bottega, who is the chief data officer at Bank of America, now used to be with the Federal Reserve Board, all here. So these are the kind of uh, participants that everyone you see, basically, you will not have the opportunity to talk to them because they just don't go around to talk to people or to attend other trading uh, trade, trade shows. Yeah, so I wonder if you could uh, talk a little bit about, you know, after the, the conference is over, what do you hope attendees are going to take away from this? What is really, you know, they come here for a few days, they hear some really interesting um, mm. talks, some panel mm. discussions around data quality, the, mm. the role of the CDO. Mm. What are you hoping that attendees take away from this conference? That, that's a very good question. What, what we're hoping for, for, uh, for the participants to take away uh, is the, the current uh, knowledge that has not been disseminated in the field to, to bring back to their, their office. And I have a, a line which is uh, the participant ought to be able to apply the knowledge they learned from the participant on Monday after the return to their, to their home, number one. Number two, I, we have, as an MIT, we, this is a nonprofit symp symposium. We dictate all the presenters and participants do not do product announcement. Do not provide a consulting methodology with the benefits and the conclusion, how good it is, and a black box, and here's my business card. Mm -hmm. None of that. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, we really want to stimulate the participants to be a stakeholder as opposed to a consumer. In, by stakeholder, I mean they come over here, they contribute their ideas and exchange ideas, research results, practice best practice with the, the speaker and presenter. Mm -hmm. So not the, the, you, you don't want attendees to be kind of passive consumers of the content here. You want them to interact with one another and the presenters and really make this a, a, a very practical um, conference. So th as you said, they can go back Monday morning and actually start to implement some of the ideas they've heard here. I, yes, indeed, and, and they're not shy. <laughs> well, they're not shy. Good. So for example, I have the president of DEMA here as a participant. Uh, DEMA stands for Data, Data Administration Management Association. Okay, he is a participant. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So really, it's uh, it's allowing uh, practitioners from all different levels and all different types of organizations mm -hmm. to uh, kind of mingle. Yes, we have public sector people. We have private sector people. Mm -hmm. Private sector we have across all industry segments, and in particular, uh, for the last seven years, we have three tracks: the government track, the the health track and the, the financial service track. And next year, we're going to have based on themes. So depending on the themes, they go across the industry. Excellent, Rich. Well, okay. thanks very much. A <coughs> couple hundred people here, uh, several more, of course, watching in the Cube. Really, again, thanks for having us here. Really appreciate you coming to the Cube, setting up the, the, the event. We'll be here over the next two days. I'm Dave Vellante with, uh, with Jeff Kelly. Really, really appreciate your invitation and, and the initiative that you've put behind this. And, and I want to thank you for, uh, for doing this. Uh, you know, I understand that you didn't get paid, <laughs> and we wish we would like you to come back next year. This is well, an invitation for next year. Thank you, you very much. And we love to do these things. We love the collaboration with great institutions like you know, MIT. We we work you know ex a lot with uh, folks like Stanford. So yeah. it's really you know uh, a pleasure for us to be here. So thanks again. All right, yeah. keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back with our next guest. Michael Rappa is here. He's from North Carolina State University, and we're going to dig into this issue of information quality and data governance. Keep it right there. This is the Cube. Thank you. Thank you.